y'all too folks. It's a process. It's a process. Sit down. If you don't understand it, it'll break up marriages. Folks are split because they don't understand. It's a process. Mm -hmm. Some financial struggles are allowed by God because before he blesses you, he's going to allow you to suffer some. Paul told Timothy, in order to reign with him, you got to suffer with him. But see, we live in a time where church folk don't want to go through anything anymore. We done jumped on the bandwagon with the prosperity church. And something is always wrong if it ain't going my way. What did I do, God? You ain't did nothing. You in a process. I'm making you. I'm teaching you that you can make it even when they fire you. I'm teaching you that you can make it. With your bank account low. I'm showing you some things. You know, reading a lot of us getting happy right now. We done been in that process. You think I teach like this because I ain't been through nothing? Many times I had to preach with the car on E. Wouldn't even take an offering from the church because it wasn't time to do so. He said, Pastor, let us give you some. I said, ain't time to give me nothing. Why? God said, if you're going to teach my people, you're going to have to go through something to be a witness about something. See, some of you want to be used, but you don't want to go through nothing so understand sometimes financial struggle can just be a stepping stone to better but who has to understand that a child of God if you don't have that mindset you won't give God his money every time you get paid no, you don't. You, you, you won't do it. You're going to be like some of y'all up in here this morning. When you have left over what you feel like you can make it on, you're going to do right by God. But when it get tight, you're going to rob him. And you're going to skip church as if not being at church means you don't have to give God his money. That's the reason they make stamps. So you can mail something when you can't physically be there. Like you mail off them bills. Let's move on. The second reason you can struggle financially can be because you wasteful. Mm-hmm. What's another word for being wasteful? You foolish. Look at Luke 16. Sometimes you struggling because you wasteful. You foolish when it come to handling money. You immature when it come to taking care of business financially. Mm -hmm. Bottom line, you a bad steward. And listen, when you are a bad steward, you will suffer financially. Listen, I remember in time past going to somebody, having to borrow $50 till next week. Not because <laughs> of no crisis, but I had messed up money. Had to borrow it from somebody because I had been foolish With my substance. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Notice, notice Luke 16. 
Like I said, we, we got to come Bible this morning. He also said to his disciples, now this is Jesus talking. He said there was a certain rich man who had a steward. An accusation was brought to him that this man was wasteful, was wasting his goods. So he called him and said to him, what is this I hear about you? Give an account of your stewardship. For you can no longer be steward. Mm. Then the steward said within himself, what shall I do? For the master is taking the stewardship away from me. I cannot dig. I'm ashamed to beg. What am I going to do? This is what I want to show you. Being a bad steward will cause you to have things taken away from you. See, the rich man said, I'm taking your stewardship. You can no longer be over this. See, everybody that's losing stuff ain't losing it because of a trial. Some folk losing things because they don't like to pay folk. And you can't go out there with your spiritual self and agree to do something and not stick by what you say you would do. Oh, I got to come home with it. You can't run up all them credit cards. Some of you, if the truth be told, you only use them cards to feel better. You don't even need what you're putting on them. You so depressed. The only time you feel a sense of relief. You got married for up in here competing with each other. Oh, I see you bought that. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. I'll show him. Young folk up in here staying at home. It ain't got no money saved up. Twenty years old, I already got the fever. Can make coffee at home before you leave. Not you. I'm a Starbucks girl. I gotta have a latte. And I ain't myself without my cappuccino. <laughs> Y'all laughing. I'm, I'm dead serious. <laughs> Spending $50 a week in the break room at work like you can't fix a sack lunch. And buying them cheer and all them shoes, and they ain't taking care of the ones you bought them. But it ain't coming out your pocket. Look at Luke 12. Y'all laughing, but if you knew how serious I was, of folk coming to you needing help because they've been wasteful, and you want me to take. See, some of you will do it. Some of you do it because folk can folk. You can't say no to certain folk. Let me tell you something. If you really want God to bless you, sometimes you got to say no. You don't need it. That's the end of it. But look at us. Nine-year-old with iPhones. I don't understand. I don't understand. She can't keep a room clean. How's she going how to stay under a limit? She can't make a bed up every day. I want my kid to be like everybody else. And then you get them that and find out they're doing foolish stuff with it. 
I know I'm right. And when they do it, you can't even get the record. You got to go to court to get the records, and you paying for the phone. How you know that? Tried it. I said, I said, I want every text message she's been sending. I want a print out of it. They said, who are you? I said, I'm Leonard Cock, and I'm the head on this account. <laughs> and it's overdue. You know what the woman told me? She said, you got to go to court and get a court order to get it. But see, guess who gave it to him? Me. Now we got a cell phone be a higher than the house. You still laughing? You ain't going to be laughing for long. Luke 12, 42. No, come on. I'm, I'm being serious. Wasteful. But see, saints think God going to just drop it on them. I'm waiting on God. God waiting on you to grow up. Luke 12, 42. And the Lord said, who then is a, who then is that faithful and wise steward? Whom his master will make ruler over his household to give them their portion of food in due season. Blessed is the servant whom his master will find so doing when he what? Come. Look. Look at the opposite. A wise steward is going to increase. Did y'all catch that? Who then is the faithful and wise steward whom his master what, will make ruler over his what? Household. Will increase him. Will promote him. What am I saying? God will promote you if you're a wise steward. He'll give you more. Uh, it ain't sinking. Go to Luke 16. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I, I, I believe I know what the problem is with some of them. I believe they know what the problem is with some of them. You saying that, Pastor, it ain't that I'm a bad steward. I just need more. I can do better with more. Is, is that what y'all saying over here? Huh? You, you, you think you do better with more. See, some of you ain't going to be honest. You think a raise will help. Yeah, you do. You think a good bonus will help. Oh, 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 oh. Can, 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 I, can I knock on that Dolman's Bridge? You think them taxes is about to set you free. Oh, when you get them taxes, you're going to be coming up here and saying, I'll never be broke another day in my I remember being so broke that folk told us we getting back $3,000. The number blew our mind. I said, we rich. <laughs> the folks said, we have it to you in two weeks. But if you really need it, for $350, we have it to you in 48 hours. I've been waiting a year for it, but couldn't do another 48 hours. Gave somebody $350. Foolish. Foolish. Y'all laughing. I'm not laughing. Come to church, I ain't got no offering. Poor mouthing about giving. And over there giving rent a center. Fit that all the week for a DVD player. Gonna pay $5,000 for a 46 inch TV. It quiet up in here. Luke 16, 10. Watch this now. Watch what Jesus said now. Jesus said, he who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much. Well, see, this is what I want you to see. And he who is unjust in a little will be unjust with much. Tell you, maybe if you can't do right, with the little you got, if you got more, you still wouldn't do right.
Some of us don't believe that. We believe more what cause us to be better. When it ain't a matter of what's coming in your house, it's a matter of how you're handling what's coming in the house. And, and, and you can decide right now in this church to say, hey, I'm growing up this morning. He preaching truth to me. I need to take some responsibility for all this debt I done got myself in. If you a man, take some responsibility for all the debt that's up in that house. And stop letting your wife do everything while you sit back and take credit like you the man. If you the man, you get up and call them folk. If you the man, you take care of business. You the man, but with them folk calling for their money, you tell her, get it, you get it, you get it, you get it. So y'all women can't get them, but I get them. Notice number three. Final thing. Yeah, right. Women be in your office sometimes telling you. Because he don't do right. He don't do right, Pastor. What are you doing, so He don't care. He sit up in there playing that video game, and I be telling him. Maybe they cut them lights off, and he can't play that PlayStation. He'll, he'll listen then. Maybe that water get cut off, and he can't watch that car, then he'll listen. Third and final reason you can struggle financially is because you're robbing God. You're not doing right by God. Therefore, in this church, you know what I'm speaking the truth this morning. You know it. You know it. What is a curse? Misfortune, calamity, hardship, disaster, and such like. Listen, that you didn't have to go through. A curse is also God speaking bad on your life. Being cursed has to do with the fact that no matter what you do, you empower to fail. Because you're not doing right by God. Listen, as we deal with this in close, these folk knew what God had told them to do. This is the reason he rebukes them the way he do. Because God is a good God. God is a just God. When you're ignorant, God going to teach you. <laughs> but when he teach you and you still don't do right, don't you know better? Listen, don't nobody whoop like God. God will let you get caught up in something and he'll tell you this is happening because you didn't listen to me. You didn't do what I told you to do. I know it. Done been there. Have been there. He said, well, a man robbed God, yet you robbed me. But you said, in what way have we robbed you? Notice in the way they robbed him. Because, see, some of us, we only concerned with the tithe. But I'm coming your way. He said, in tithes and what? Tithe.